Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us quickly look at the agricultural tools which are used for soil preparation. So what are the various activities which we do during soil preparation? Ploughing, watering, puddling and leavening. So there are a couple of in, uh, tools which are being used for these processes. Now some of these tools are manually used by the farmers. Some of the tools are like automate, are a part of automated machines like tractors are extremely useful for ploughing purposes. So let us quickly have a look at the various tools. Yes, I have seen such tools in the village field, says our little friend, because he has been to the village very recently and he has also seen green fields where he has seen these kind of tools. And I'm sure if you ever visit a village, you will also get to see these kind of tools. So let us quickly see what are these tools and how do they help the farmers. Some of the important tools are plow, hoe and cultivator. So these are the three tools which we will be primarily talking about. So which one of these is a plow? So this is a plow. So this is this will help in the process of plowing, which is a hoe. So this is a hoe, this one or this one. Both of these are types of hoe. Cultivated, this one is a cultivator. So let us quickly see what are each of these and how exactly do they help. So let us first talk about plow. So the name itself says that it helps in ploughing. So it is a tool which is used for ploughing because it, it just cannot be done with your hand. So you need something which can actually help you to dig the soil. So it is generally made up of iron or wood. Now a plough primarily has three important parts and they are plough share, plough shaft and beam. So let us see which is plough share, which is plough shaft and which is a beam. So here if you see, so let us see the three parts of this plough. So plough share is this part which is present on one extreme end and it is an iron strip which is kind of triangular in shape. So this one is the plow share which is the plow shaft this long log of wood it is generally made up of wood but sometimes it is made up of iron also so but mostly it is wood so this is the plow shaft so this one is the plow shaft and which is the beam so beam is that part which is placed on the animal's neck because how is this plow carried you know it is carried by a pair of animals two animals they carry the plow on their i mean they carry it on their neck and then they pull the plow through the feed and when they pull it this sharp portion of the plow share it does the actual plowing on the feed and the man holds the handle and operates it so this handle, this handle side is held by the man. So let us quickly look at a picture. So this is how it works. So you see this, this part is the handle. This part is the plow share. So here you see this is plow share and this one is the plow shaft. And where is the beam? This portion is the beam. So this part is the beam. So the beam is somewhere here. So somewhere here you have a, a, a plain wooden uh, log which is placed on the neck of the animals. Now various animals are used for ploughing purpose for example ox is used, cow is used so these are some of the animals which are used for in fact horses are also used so it is a tedious job for animals but that is how it has been traditionally carried out. So this is the plough. So now this End, that is the plow share it being very uh, uh, sharp and stripped so what happens when it passes through the field or it passes through the soil on the field it tends to dig the field and that's how it loosens the soil so that is how plowing happens through the plow the next one is the next equipment is the hoe so this is how a simple hoe looks like so it is a tool which is again used for loosening the soil. So what exactly happens with hoe? So it is also made up of wood or iron and if you look at its structure, it has a strong iron plate attached to a long rod. So here you can see this is a rod and this is an iron plate which is attached to the long rod and this iron plate basically acts as a blade and that is how it helps in loosening the soil because this case also it has to dig into the soil that's how it can loosen the soil so this is the structure of a simple hoe 
However, some who have a structure like this as well, they have a better uh, handle, a better iron plate, they also have a beam because sometimes hoe also, now this type of hoe is generally used manually by farmers, but this type of hoe again is carried by animals. So if you want to use this hoe being carried by animals, in that case you have this beam. So here again you have beam, this is the portion which is pla placed on the neck of animals and here you have a hand which is operated by the farmer so the farmer can hold it here and you have the sharp metal plate a sharp iron plate here so this is the iron plate here and this one is a long rod so this part is the long rod here you have the iron plate here you have a handle and here you have a beam so here the structure of this type of hoe is very similar to that of a plow so with minor differences in the structure of the metal plate like here you have an iron plate like this which is extremely sharp but there you have that triangular shaped uh, plowshare. So a little bit of differences in the structure here and there but this is also a similar kind of tool. So the next tool is a cultivator. So you would have seen this type of a cultivator even in your garden. So even the gardeners uh, of uh, small gardens also they use these kind of cultivators. So it is also a tool which is used for plowing. Now often this tool, so one option is it can be used manually by a farmer. So you just hold it here and then with the uh, with these sharp ends you can dig the soil and you can plow and loosen the soil. But if you want to do it with a, a machine, with the help of a machine so that you don't have to do it manually on the soil. Because see, doing it manually is possible in a small garden. But when you are talking about a big field where thousands of crops need to be cultivated, if you start doing it manually, first of all, it will need a lot of effort. So a lot of human labor is involved. Secondly, it will consume more time. So that is why there are tractor driven cultivators also. So here you see this is a huge tractor and towards the end of the tractor you have the cultivator. So it's similar kind of a structure is fitted towards the end, towards one end of the tractor. So in this case what happens as the vehicle moves, as the tractor moves through the field by I mean, this cultivators by itself, they keep on plowing the land. So that means it is very useful and it has a lot of benefits over uh, the manual cultivator because it saves time and it, it is a fast process and it also reduces human labor. So some of the advantages of tractor driven cultivators. So tractor driven cultivators will have a couple of benefits like it will save time and secondly it will also save human effort. So you really don't need to put in so much of effort to cultivate the land. So these are the two major benefits of tractor driven cultivator. So now that we have spoken about all the three equipments which are used for plowing that is plow, hoe and cultivator. So you can see that all of them have uh, the basic similarities there because they are going to serve the basic purpose. But uh, if you look at the differences you can, you can see that all three of them are quite different in their structures. If you talk about the plow, plow can be used for plowing as well as for mixing purposes. Uh, whereas if you talk about a hoe, hoe is mostly used for loosening the soil and again structure wise both of them have different type of structures like in case of hoe we have the iron plate, in case of plow we have the triangular iron strip and in case of cultivators we have these teeth like structures in the front. So that means all of them will have different structures but the basic function that they perform is the same. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.